Hi everybody, I'm Laura Harris-Smith. Welcome to today's Daily Fit Code. Yes, I am at the library. And Genesis is here checking out some books. And so I have to be very, very quiet. But I was thinking as we came in, I told Genesis, okay, you have to be very, very quiet. And I thought, how appropriate. I've been so quiet for the last few weeks on the pin codes. And um, I know there hasn't been one. In fact, I think it's been two weeks and four days or something like that. So I'm sorry that I've been so quiet. But the truth is that I have been filming my little heart out and editing my little heart out for my church's first television program. We have a new TV program every Tuesday and Thursday night on Channel 6 in the viewing area, uh, Charter Communications Network, and whew, it has been quite an undertaking. Um, but you can actually go to our church website and check out the video. How about that? Um, and the website is something that I've had on my plate the last two weeks too. So I've had to design the website and I've had to uh, film and edit the television program. Neither of those things do I really want on my business card. But let me tell you, when you're in ministry, it's amazing how the Lord will give you grace to reinvent yourself to be whatever the ministry needs for you to become. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. That's www eastgateccf.com and like I said there you can go to the watch page and um, and you can check out what I've been working on but that's actually not what the pin code is about today what I was thinking coming in here is why do you have to be quiet at a library Genesis why do you have to be quiet at a library because why because people are reading. Okay, thank you. They have to study. Oh, they have to study. Okay, thank you. Well, I have my own theories on why that I think that you have to be quiet at a library. The main reason that I'm broadcasting from here is because Genesis wanted to go to the library. And I was like, well, I'll sit at a table. She's old enough now. I can set up shop. I can do a pin code. I'm going to have time to do a pin code. I was so excited and I thought, what would I do a pin code on in a library? You have to be so quiet. So exactly, I've been so quiet lately and I do apologize. You know what? I don't think it is quiet in the library. I think if you close your eyes and you hear all the words from all the books, I'm an author so I know. It's quite an experience. Hello. <laughs> but think about it. It's the same thing with your Bible. When you pick up your Bible, you're picking up a library. You are picking up a book that has 66 books in it. 66. And you know, if you were to close your eyes when you hold it, and you could just imagine Isaiah talking to Ezekiel, or James talking to the Apostle Paul, or Jesus talking to Esther, or, oh my goodness, the woman at the well, you know, what if she were to have a conversation with Rahab? It's just awesome when you think you hold your Bible next time. I want you to imagine that you're at a library. And I want you to get really quiet. And just come into that place of reverence when you realize, you know what, I'm here. I'm here to study. And I'm here to listen. You know, Genesis loves to come to the library. And I think we should all be like that when we approach the Word of God. That we would sit down and when we hold that book in our hands every day, that we wouldn't just think of it as God trying to talk to us. I know we should do that. And I hope the new never wears off that for you. But when you sit down with your Bible next time, I want you to imagine having a conversation with Adam about the garden. Having a conversation with John the Revelator. What does Daniel want to tell you about the lion's den? So, yes? Did she tell you? I sent Genesis up to ask how many books were in this library, and they said there were over 100,000. Now, can you imagine how many words in each one of those books. That is a lot of words flying around in the, ear, in the air here above our heads. That is why you have to be so quiet because it's so loud in here. If you were to close your eyes and listen, the library is a very loud place. Likewise, next time you read your Bible, if you will close your eyes and just listen, the Bible is a very loud book. 
So it's not just about a place of reverence and you getting quiet because you're supposed to be reverent. It's getting quiet because it's a loud book. If you'll put your ears on, there's a whole lot to learn as you read. All right, I'm Laura Harris-Smith. I hope that you've enjoyed today's pin code. I have. I have missed you. I've missed your comments. I want to hear from you, okay, because now that we're doing the TV show, it's going to be, uh, the pin codes are going to be commercials in the TV show. So I want to hear from you, okay, on a few things. First of all, I want your feedback. I'd love to know what you think about the new show. Um, go to the new website for our church. Go to our new TV show. Watch it. It's just 30 minutes. Um, and then I want you to imagine some pin codes inserted in there and tell me what you think those topics should be on. Um, because we're reaching, you know, we're going in, it's only going to be about 14,000 households It's out in this area, just a secular channel. So what do you think the pin codes should be about on there? I'm really interested to know what you have to say. Okay, I hope that you won't forget 1 Corinthians 14, 31, and 39, for you can all prophesy in turn, so that all may be instructed and encouraged. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, be eager to prophesy.